viewers, welcome back to our Jadiman class. This is our second episode on probability. In the first episode, I was able to define what probability is, the basic formula required for probability, and also gave um, a very simple example of probability. So today, I'm going to proceed with this example. Yeah, example three says that in a single throw of three coins, find the probability of obtaining two tails at most two eggs, no tail, and at least one egg. Now, like I said in the last episode, the first thing you need to do is that you have to determine your sample space, okay, which is also known as number of expect, uh, possible outcomes. So, my sample space, which is denoted with S, is there are various ways in which you can determine your sample space, okay? You can list them out or um, you can use the three diagram approach. But well, I'm going to teach you the three diagram approach now. Now, this is it. We know that in a coin, we have egg and we also have tail this is the first row of the coin we can either have egg or tail in the second row we can either have egg or tail egg or tail that's the second row i mean the second coin this is for the first coin this is for the second coin the third coin too is either we have Head and tail, head and tail, head, tail, head, tail. This is for the first coin, second coin, the third coin. Now we're going to write out our output. What is your output? For the first one here, I'm going to have head, head, head. Add, 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 till. Okay, I'm done with this first line. Then we move to this. Add, till, add. So we want to fill in everything. Add, till, add. Add, till, till. That means I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. Add, Tail, tail. So that shows I've done this too. So I'm moving down here. Tail, egg, egg. I've done this. Moving down here. Tail, egg, tail. I've done this. So here we have tail, tail. Add, tail, tail, add. And lastly, we have tail, tail, tail. So these are the possible outcomes. So let me just list them here. So here, I'm having add, 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 tail, L, tail, add, add, tail, tail. Tail, add, add. Tail, add, tail. Tail, tail, add. And lastly, tail, tail, tail. So if you want to know the cardinality of your sample space, how many do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total. So the sample space is 8. So this is the first thing you need to do. Okay? And um, another way for you to know if it's going to be 8 is that for a single throw, we have 2. So how many coins do we throw? We have 3. 2 raised to power 3 gives 8. There's another shortcut for you to know it. We call it power of the set. Yeah. We've done that. Now we want to find the probability of obtaining 2 tails. This is event 1. Let me call that event 1. Event 1, two tails. What you only need is that you want to list out 
wherever you find two tails. Okay, now let's look at it. Here we don't have two tails, we only have one tail, one tail. Yeah, here we have two tails. So we have head, tail, tail. Now let's look again. We only have one tail. Here we have two tails again. We have tail, head, tail. Here we have two tails too. We're having tail, tail, head. Here we're having three tails. So we leave it. So what is the number, the cardinality of events one? How many do we have? One, two, three. Okay? So now, the probability of event 1 is the number of expected outcome in event 1 over number of what? Sample space. So our NE1 is what? 3. Sample space is what? 8. So that is the probability of event 1. The probability of obtaining 2 tails is 3 over 8. What about the event 2? At most, two heads. In the last video, I told you that when we talk about at most, it means the maximum. Okay? At least means minimum. So, for the B part, here we have at most two heads. Okay? At most two heads means maximum of two heads. That's the meaning. So we want to list out wherever we see maximum of two x. Okay. So now even two. Let's look at it. Where do we see the maximum of two x? Here we have maximum of three. No. Okay. Here we have maximum of two x, which is head head tail. So I'm going to write it out. Maximum of two x. It can be lower. Here, maximum of two heads, which is head tail head. Here, we have only one head, so you can write it. Since it must not exceed two heads, okay, it can be lower. Here, I'm having two heads too. Here, we have tail head head. Here, I'm only having one head. Tail, head, tail. Here, I'm having tail, tail, head. And lastly, I'm having tail, tail, tail. You wonder that why do I put this? No, I said maximum of two heads. It's possible you don't have any head, or you only have one head, or you have two heads. But the maximum should be what? Two heads. It must not exceed two heads. So this is what we have. So the number of the event, the cardinality of the event 2 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7. Okay? So our probability of event 2 is going to be the number of expected over sample space. And number of event 2 is 7. The sample space is it's okay. Um, alternatively, the another method you can use to do at most two heads is using one minus eh, the probability of three heads. So it's just going to be one minus one over eight, which is going to give you seven over eight. But you can try that yourself for the last part at least one head. At least one edge is the same thing as minimum of one edge. That is, it can be one edge or two or three edges. Okay, minimum. It's almost the same thing with what we did. So where do we find minimum of one edge? Listing the same thing out, it can be one head, two, or three. It can be head, head, head. Okay? For the maximum, I'm using zero or one or two. 
but here I'm using one, two, or three because it is the minimum. So you have head, 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 tail, head, tail, head. Okay. Um, head, tail, 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 head, head, and tail, head, tail. And lastly, we have tail, tail, head. So here too, we're going to have seven. I'm not including this because here we don't have any tail, any head. So, oh, sorry, I'm doing D parts. I've skipped um, C. So the probability of event three, let me call it event four. I'm still going back to event three. It's going to be number of event four over the number of sample space, which is still seven over eight. So lastly, on event three, which is C, no tails. So the probability that no tails, if you want to do the probability that we don't have any tails, probability of no tails, or let me call it event three, that does not occur. In our last episode, I gave you this formula, you can go back to check it. It's going to be one minus the probability that the events occur. So Probability that we don't have any tail is going to be 1 minus probability that we have tail. Okay? 1 minus probability that we have tail. Or more so, you can just check. We don't have any tail. This is the only place we don't have any tail. Okay? So, I'm going to use two ways. 1 minus probability that we have tail. We have tail in seven places. If you check. In seven places, it can be 1 minus 7 over 8, which is 1 over 8. Or, probability that we don't have any tail, probability of no tail can just be 1 over 8. Ah, because looking at the event, you can just say no tail means uh, add, add. And this is only where you don't have any tail. Others, you have tails. So it can be like this. It is only one out of what? Eight. Okay? So this is an alternative way of doing it. So thank you very much for watching my videos. If you find this video very useful, don't forget to like and also click on the subscribe button for the subsequent